if you've recently upgraded to Premiere Pro CC, you might have noticed that the scrolling titles option is no longer available. Adobe did this in 2017 with the 2017 release, removing the titles from the menu bar and adding the essential graphics option. However, if you do still want to do scrolling titles, you can do that. And there are two ways to do this, and I'm going to show you both of the ways. So the first way is the legacy titles. So what they've done, instead of having the titles as a drop down up here, I think it was an edit, or maybe it even was on its own, I don't recall. But now you need to go to File, New, and Legacy Title. Select that, name it whatever you want. I'm just going to title it 3. And it pulls up the title screen. And this works exactly the same as it did before. They didn't make any changes to the functionality here. They just moved how you get to it. So you can type into here, my video about water with water flowing by me. I'm not going to go into all the details how this functionality works. You can change your font, your text, your color, so forth and so on. You can center it using uh, the text center as well as the as well as the center over here on the left, the align centers. If I want to scroll, click on the roll crawl options. Roll means it's going to roll from the bottom of the screen to the top of the screen. Crawl left, crawl right means it's going to go from left to right, right to left. If you want it to start off screen, click the start off screen. It's going to cause it to start off screen and end off screen. You can ease in and ease out if you want. That's going to set the number of frames uh, before it starts to ease in and ease out. If you want it to start on screen, you can also set a pre-roll and a post-roll. So in my case, I want it to go off and end off screen, hit OK. Now it's set to go. Uh, once again, I'm not going to go into all of this functionality. Uh, I did a video on this before. I'll post a link of it below if you do want to see that. Close the window. And now I've got that title in my project window. I'm going to scroll it. I'm going to pull it down to my timeline. And I don't have a lot of video here because this is just a demo. So let's make it long enough to where it doesn't scroll too super fast. Now let's play it. Play. Starts off screen and ends off screen. Still pretty quick. Maybe I'll extend it just a little bit longer. Computer's a bit choppy. I'm running some stuff in the background. But you get the point. It's going to scroll through the, vi the text of the titles. That's the legacy functionality. That's how it worked before. The only change is how you get to the title window. Now let's say you want to do it a new way. Or maybe in the future Adobe will actually remove the option of going to that title view, which I hope they don't, but maybe they will. If you want to do that, under your timeline, over to the left here, you've got your type tool. Uh, I've got mine set to the editing CS5 view. If you're using a different view, yours might look a bit different. Then you simply just click on the program window and then just start with your text. A film about water where it flows. You can do all of the centering and that type of stuff in your effects control panel. So notice when I go over to the effects control panel, I've got the text start here. Let's see, I want to extend the timeline on the length of that. So that way it goes long enough to where you can actually read it. You can center it just like you could before. With the selection tool, watch here in the middle. It's going to pull up a little uh, dotted red line. That means it's centered for me. You can change your text type, the color, all that type of stuff, just like you could before in the other view. Now what I'm going to do is pull it down, and I want it just right here down at the bottom of the window. I still want to be able to see it, and I'll show you why. It just makes it a little bit easier. Down at the bottom, you're going to have this transform option. 
Mine was already expanded, but if yours isn't, just hit the little expand. Then what you're going to want to do is, and for the position option, hit the toggle animation, the little thing that looks like a stopwatch. And notice it adds a marker here, a little triangle. Then on the second set of numbers, that's going to be your vertical. Just mouse over it. And you'll see the two little uh, black arrows in the pointer icon. Click on your mouse and pull it to the right. That's going to bring it just to the bottom of the screen. Now, once again, it's going to pull it right down there, just below the field of view. Stop. Now, what I want it to do is at the end here. So I'm just going to pull this over. Once again, go back over to my position, mouse over it, click, and instead of pulling to the right, I'm going to just slide to the left. So you can see the text is going up, up, and right off screen. It added another point there. I'm going to back it up and hit play. It's a bit choppy again. Um, running a program in the background of my screen on my computer that's hogging up my memory but as you can see it scrolls and that's pretty much it that's how you can do it two ways the legacy way or simply using the text and effects panel way uh, the legacy I do still think gives you a few more options that you don't get in the effects control but if they someday remove that or you're doing a reasonably simple one and you just want to throw it in this is the way to do that